All base R graphics functions support a variety of optional parameters that allow us to change key plot details. These graphics parameters can either be set locally as part of the call to a specific plotting function, globally through a call to the PAR function, or in some cases through both of these methods. Here is an example of a global parameter that can only be set by the PAR function. MFrow sets up an array of multiple plots, and this must be done before any of these plots can be generated. In this case, we have specified PAR MFrow equals C1, 2 to set up an array of two plots side by side. Part of Chapter 4 is devoted to a discussion of the effective use of multiple plot arrays like this one. The parameter cex.main specifies the relative size of the text in plot titles, and it can either be specified globally, as in this example, or locally as an optional argument to a base graphics function. Another example of a parameter that can be specified either way is pch, which defines the shapes of the points in either one plot, if the parameter is specified locally, or in all subsequent plots if the parameter is set globally. Note that if we specify PCH globally via the PAR function, we are effectively changing the default value from PCH equals 1 for open circles to something else of our choosing. An example of strictly local graphics parameter is the type argument in the plot function, which specifies the kind of plot that will be drawn, for example, points, lines, or points overlaid on lines. Here, we see the effect of specifying type equals O to obtain points overlaid on lines. Another important aspect of base R graphics is the distinction between high-level graphics functions like plot that generate an initial plot and low-level graphics functions like points, lines, or text that add details to an existing plot. All of these functions support both local and global optional parameters that can be used to help us make plots look the way we want them to look. In this example, the high-level function plot is first called to create the initial plot, locally setting type, pch, xlim, ylim, xlab, and ylab to get the type of plot we want, the point shapes we want, the x and y axis limits we want, and the x and y axis labels we want. Note that this initial plot has lines overlaid with solid circles. And by specifying xlim and ylim explicitly, it leaves room on the plot for the second line. This second line is added by the low-level graphics function lines, again as a line overlaid with points.